This is the last in my series of video lessons about IELTS speaking part two. I've already done lessons about the six main topic areas for IELTS speaking part two. This list describe a person, place, object, event, activity, and your favorites. We've covered those, but what about questions that don't fit into these six main topic areas? What do you do if you have a question that doesn't seem to be one of these six main areas? Let's have a look at some examples to show you what I mean. Here are some questions that I've seen in official IELTS books or in the real exam. One, describe an important choice that you had to make. Describe an idea you had for improving something at work or college. Describe a competition that you took part in. Describe a meeting that you went to at work, college or school. Describe a time when you were asked for your opinion in a survey. These five don't seem necessarily to fit into the six main topic areas, but there are more. Here are five more. Number six, describe a journey that you remember well. Seven, describe an open air or street market that you enjoyed visiting. Describe a shop near where you live that you sometimes use. Describe a conflict that you had or a time when you became angry. Describe a beautiful sky that you enjoyed looking at. And five more. Number 11. Describe an interesting story that someone told you. Describe a law in your country that you think is good. Describe a local news story that people in your area found interesting. Describe a time when you were stuck in traffic or delayed when travelling. And describe a time when you helped someone. So we've got 15 questions there that I've picked from different sources that don't seem to fit in the six main topic areas. So let's look at what we should do in this situation. Here's my advice. I think there are three things that you can do. First, you can adapt your ideas from a main topic. Even if some of those questions didn't seem to be from one of the six main topics straight away, often you can use one of the main topics or you can adapt your ideas at least. If you've prepared some good vocabulary for the main topics, I'm sure you'll be able to use some of it for almost any question. The second thing that you could do is talk about your job or studies. I think apart from the six topic areas, the main ones, we should really have a seventh one. Number seven would be your preparation for your job or studies. You should be able to describe either your job or your studies. It depends what you do. You definitely should be able to describe your um, career, what you do in life. I can't help so much with that because it depends on the person, it depends what you do, but you should definitely prepare some good ideas, good vocabulary for that topic or those topics. And finally, the third thing that you could do is look through the lessons on my blog. Often I cover the stranger topics, the, um, the different ones that people are worried about on my blog in the lessons there. Let's look at each one of these three tips in a bit more detail. The first tip again, adapt your ideas from a main topic. Well, from those 15 questions that we've just seen that seem like they're not about a main topic, let's see if we can find a main topic that's close to them. So the question about describing a competition that you've been in, we could choose a sports competition and use our ideas from the activity topic. My sport was swimming, so I could easily say that I was in a swimming competition maybe when I was younger. Another one of those questions that we've just seen, the 15 questions, if it was describe a journey, well, I would use the main topic, describe a place. Of course, when you go on a journey, you're going to a place. So I could talk about the journey going there. I might have to add some um, ideas about the actual journey, but I can also talk about the destination, why I was going on that journey. You'll definitely be able to use some of your vocabulary from the describe a place topic for that one. The next one. Describe a shop 
Well, you could easily use some ideas from your main topic area of describe an object. Whatever object you chose, I chose a, a watch, I could talk about the shop where I bought that watch. Or I could choose from my describe a favourite um, topic area. I did um, or mentioned describing a favourite book. We could talk about a bookshop where you've bought these books. Describe a beautiful sky. Well, I've, d I've written about this on my blog. You can just describe a place. I chose to describe London for my describe a place topic. And I could easily change that into a description of a sky. Perhaps I was up on a tall building looking out over the view of the city. And I can use my vocabulary about London for that. The next one, describe a story. Well, it would be a story that you told or that somebody told you. It could be an, uh, an event. That could be just a story of what happened at a wedding. If you described um, a celebration, for example, a wedding or a birthday party, well, that's a story. You could say that you, you told someone about a wedding you went to, about a birthday party you went to. You could use the event topic. Or if you've got an interesting description of a person, perhaps a famous person, the, your story could be about the life of that person. You could adapt your ideas there. Next example, a local news story. Well, talk about a place something that happened in that place, um, or perhaps an event like a concert this time. Maybe there was a, a concert in your local area. We did a, a description of a concert in one of the other video lessons. So I've prepared that and got some good ideas for that already. Another one. If you're stuck in traffic or delayed, well, it's a bit like the journey topic. You're going to a place. So you could talk about why you were going there. Use all of the description of the place and then just add some of the, um, the ideas for the, the traffic or delay on the journey. Finally, a uh, time when you helped people. Well, you could say that you gave someone directions in a place or gave someone advice about which place to visit. And I would choose London again. I could use my description of London, say that maybe I advised... Um, a tourist to go there or gave someone directions to a place in London or I could talk about an object maybe I helped someone in my family to learn to use their new phone or their new watch their smart watch I could use my description of an object from that main topic so those are some uh, of the 15 questions I showed you earlier where I think you could adapt ideas from main topics the main topics in red writing on this slide. Now on to the second tip, which was to talk about your job or studies. This should be a strong topic for everyone. You should be able to talk about either your job or what you've studied at school, college, university. Thinking back to the 15 questions that I showed you earlier, let's see which of them could be answered using a description of your job or studies. The first one, an important choice in life that you made. If you have to describe it, an important choice, of course, your choice of job or what to study could be perfect for that. Next one, an idea that you had at work or college. Of course, you could talk about your work or your studies for that. Describe a competition. We've already seen how you could adapt ideas describing a sport, but maybe you could describe an academic type competition or a work competition, some kind of targets at work maybe, that might suit some people better than speaking about a sport. Next one, describe a meeting of course at work or at school, university, lots of meetings, it would be easy to talk about your, your job or studies for that one. Describe a survey, well on most academic courses, for example at university, Teachers ask their students to fill in a survey at the end of the course to see if they were satisfied with the course, what was the teaching like, what, were the sub what was the subject like, what were the facilities like. The same thing could be true in a job situation, maybe at the end of a project you have a survey to see how everyone did, or if you go to a, a conference or a meeting, they often ask you to fill in a survey about the conference venue, the facilities, etc. to see if you're happy with um, the experience. 
So you could you could talk about work or studies for a survey question. Next one, a conflict or a time you became angry. Well, maybe it was part of um, a group work project, a team project, and you could actually use some vocabulary from the describe a person topic as well because we talked about hard work um, t working as a team that kind of thing maybe you were with someone on a team who didn't work hard who didn't uh, contribute properly so use some of your vocabulary from the describe a person topic and think about a situation at work or during your studies where you worked in a team and it didn't go very well another question that could be covered by this job or studies description describe a time when you were stuck in traffic or delayed maybe you were traveling to an interview or a meeting or an exam at school or university you could talk about where you were going when you were stuck in traffic or delayed and how you felt how stressful it was etc another one when you helped someone describe a time when you helped someone maybe you were working in a team at university or school or in your job and you help one of the other team members use some of your vocabulary from the describe a person topic again when we were talking about teamwork and working hard so you can see that it's important to prepare some good ideas and vocabulary about your job or studies these topics can cover a lot of possible questions finally the third of my tips look through the lessons on my blog I've covered a lot of speaking topics on ieltssimon.com just go to the blog ieltss-simon.com and look through the speaking lessons you'll find all sorts of examples of some of the stranger topics as well as the six main topic areas for example I've covered the topic describe an open air or street market describe a law in your country I think I said or recommended talking about not using a mobile phone while driving choose an easy law for that one or not smoking in restaurants for example another one that I've covered an environment problem a business you'd like to own a prize that you'd like to win etc I've covered many lessons go through the speaking lessons and find as many as you can but remember the six main topic areas are still the most important you can look at these less common ones but it's still more important to be really familiar and prepared for the six most common ones in the end if none of this advice works well do your best and my advice is tell the truth if you can tell a real story about your life something you can describe something that you've really done it's always easier if you're telling the truth that's the end of this lesson and it's the end of the series of lessons about IELTS speaking part two in the next lesson we'll move on to speaking part three